Aries, this is your week ahead tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is a message for Aries sun, moon, and rising sign. Please take it where it resonates in your life. This is your reading and your message. That's why it came to you. So apply it to where it will. And check out your sun and rising sign videos. Sometimes sometimes they, they, they'll resonate more with you. Um, if you want the full astrology breakdown, please check out my second YouTube channel, Astrology Motivation. Every single week I upload each zodiac sign and a forecast for each zodiac sign. So check yours out and remember to subscribe over there too. And yes, I do do personal readings. Just check out my website, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com. Very basic to look up. It's also connected to this channel, so you can just put, uh, click on the link. Um, that's the only place I do uh, personal readings, though. No, nowhere else. You got to go through my website. So check it out, and check out the merch too, because I got some seriously cute, full rainbow, full spectrum hats, and I hope you guys will love them as much as I do. Well, listen. <laughs> I'm not going to force these cards out. Let's start with where we got. Okay. So we have the Knight of Wands. Now this is you. This is you. Not necessarily the most mature version of yourself. But basically what it says is take action. You know what you want? Go for it. Because the Knight of Wands doesn't let anybody get in its way and they're not ruthless he's not ruthless he's actually kind of optimistic and naive he's just passionate that's what he is he just believes he's he's very confident almost you know the confidence of like a teenager because that usually represents somebody between the ages of 15 and 25 young young adulthood teenager into young adulthood you think you know everything you're too stupid to know what dangers are out there and a lot of times that is what gets you in trouble but a lot of times it's also what really does move you forward so it seems like you're following just passion here and 100 percent, i would say go for it or you desire it or there's definitely something here that has motivated you perhaps stimulated you and so there is just this need to go for it. Go after it, okay? Go after what? Okay, this is weird. I just never saw this before. But the fact that there's two wands all over this reading. Oh, oh, okay. You have been hanging on to something for a while, haven't you? Uh, let me tell you why I think that. So first we have this, what really surprised me, page of wands. So I asked, what, what are you hanging on to? This is a new start, new beginning. Some, a desire that you've held inside of you, but you have not told anybody. You have kept this secretive. And maybe you have had a passion and you have been like a passion project. You've, do, you've been doing something but you've been doing it under wraps you haven't wanted to really make it public or talk about it or say anything about it this would be kind of almost like coming out or people discovering that you do it not in a nefarious way like oh you was being shady you know not everybody is all over the place you know with with their private stuff but this is a sense of you've been kind of keeping it under wraps basically not because of shame virgo is about i want to keep things healthy i want to focus on sustaining something i don't want to make a big freaking deal about it i want to just slow and steady and committed and make sure that it's healthy and that's that's really good it is definitely also telling me this is an act of faith you're moving forward with faith in yourself that you can do this and you can now but we also had the hanged man and the hanged man implies that you've been holding on to this for a while or you felt stuck for a while or oh I'm not sure if I'm ready or I'm not sure which way to go there was definitely a sense of staying put waiting um idling like you were on idol to to learn or see or understand things from a from a different point of view that's really what the hangman is about 
I'm going to stick myself up in this tree because I got to get a different perspective on something. And that's kind of hung you up for a while, or maybe it's just work in general has kept you from pursuing this interest, this passion that you have. It doesn't mean that you guys, that you're leaving work and you're going to quit your job. It just means that something has been kind of either moving very slowly or idle. Maybe because you were, you didn't feel right. You felt you wanted to be a little bit more conservative and play it safe. I don't know. I don't know. Why are we stuck? The hangman and the hermit are major arcanas. It's almost like in some way fate or the world wouldn't let you move forward or take action. <gasps> So this is gonna be something for a long time you've wanted to do this. The world wouldn't let it open up, but now it's opening it up. Something's here. Something's opening up for you. <laughs> that you're passionate about. That you've been on idol for, for a long time. Oh, let me get into y'all business. Mm, death. It's gonna to totally change you. It marks your cocoon period. You know why I love seeing these two cards together? We've got the hangman and the death card. It's, it's, it's because the message is, the message is that you've been in a cocoon long enough. It's time to break out of it and spread your wings. This is very much a cocoon. If you've ever seen a cocoon, you look at it. You're, you're learning. You're, you're, you're preparing for something, but you haven't been able to take action on it. And now this comes and it says, well, guess what? The old times are dead and new times are here. And ultimately something that you have been just you're, you're preparing to become. You are now becoming and you are able to step out and take action on it. That is really cool. Okay. We have strength you're strong enough now which is a lot a lot in a lot in, in many parts it's about you know um you're strong enough to handle this now if you've been knowing something is coming it's coming this week but you're strong enough to handle it now because in some ways i feel like you've kind of wanted it to happen i know it's not necessarily you wanted it but you're ready you're ready and now the sort of the dam breaks and then we have seven of cups. This is confusion. Maybe not even, uh, confusion about what? Having too many choices or too many opportunities to pick from, but no, I don't like that. This is confusion. Maybe you've been a little bit distracted and lost yourself in fantasy and forgotten for a second that this was even possible. But this is absolutely possible. This is absolutely possible. Okay, so why is the seven of cups here, please? Please be specific. Please be specific. It's got to do with work. It's got to do with taking responsibility. It's got to do with your, your, your maybe creating something or generating something or something that you made yourself. You have three major arcana here. So it's kind of like people have been distracted, but now it's time uh, to get into reality. This is a sense of, so we have Queen of Pentacles. So she's very, very bright and, and she's sure of herself. She's absolutely conservative when it comes to the, her pace. She's practical. She's intelligent. She runs things. She's got money. And here's the breakthrough. This sense of like magic all of a sudden opens up and happens to you when it comes to finances or what you're capable of. You've wanted this the whole time. Now it's ready for you. This is just the stars aligning. And intuitively in some way, it's almost like intuitively you know to not wait or you know to jump on something even if other people aren't aware of it. So definitely trust your intuition this week because it's something like maybe you've been taking action on something for a while and just nobody else recognized it. The world was kind of confused and distracted and didn't really see the value in it right away. People were hesitant, but you weren't hesitant. And this is really going to 
going to pay off because while they have been hesitating, you have been investing. Let's pull a moon card because we have a full moon on the third. Full moon in Capricorn. Full moon in Capricorn. By the way, guys, I always create an extended reading. Please check it out. I attach the link below in the description box and I'll pin it up here and I'll put it to the top of the comment section. Let's get into it. Surrender to the divine. This is the full moon and your commitment is being tested. Interesting. This is definitely telling you when. July 3rd. Your commitment is being tested. How? Um, how? I, that's a good question for the cards. How? How is Aries' commitment being tested? Because you are scared to move forward. Or because you've been, you've held on to something. You've held on to something for a long time. It, it made you feel safe. You were holding on to this because it made you feel safe and it made you feel stable. And maybe in some ways you've also protected it. You didn't give up, but at the same time... You have almost learned to appreciate being an idol. You've almost learned to, to do that as a profession, to wait. Well, there's movement forward now. In other words, it's saying, okay, Aries, you've said you've wanted it. You've said you've wanted it, but you say you want it. Here at the Giz, what are you going to do with it? Which direction are you going to take this in? That's how it's getting into your face. It's challenging you, almost like a bull in a, in, a, in a pen, right? This sense of, you say you want your freedom, I'm going to open up the doors for you. You say you want to get married, here's your option. Are you going to go for it? You say you want money or whatever, and uh, well, here it is. What will you do with it? There's a sense of, it's coming to you now because you do have the strength to practically handle it, but ultimately, are you going to be brave enough to do so because things have gotten very, very comfortable? Are you going to defend yourself against the comfort and challenge the norm the way you always said you were going to? It's time to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to make the decision. And she comes out when you got to figure stuff out. You got you to have a strategy, but your strategy is forward. It's progress. It's not about staying idle or moving or doing the same thing. And so, dun, 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 dun. hold on. Where are we headed? The tower. Shit. That's stressing you out. This is why you are stressed. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, guys. This is shitty. I'm just going to let you know that right now. So it's about the tower. It's almost like you know that bad news is coming because that's what it is. You're stressed out and you're worried. Or it's the anxiety, you're, you're, the, the anxiety itself that you have to confront and face and speak to or do something about. Or giving somebody bad news. Like bad news is coming. And yeah, it could be about somebody being sick somebody being sick and it it like nothing being able to be done about it somebody being sick or somebody being sick somebody being worried or scared about all of a sudden this fucking hits you right and and even if it's not about being sick it's causing you a great deal of anxiety because you do know it's coming and I'm going to tell you this right now you absolutely are right. It is coming. This tower is about to collapse and fall down. The news is coming this week. And you have been really worried and concerned about it. The heartbreak is here. What is it? What is it? Something financial. It's maybe something even to do with your job. Or if you have a female earth sign in your yeah, female earth sign in your life. It could be about them. They might have been fighting something. And they might have been doing a good job. But suddenly there's a sense of something strikes. What is it? What is this tower? 
What is this tower? What is it? What is the tower? <sighs> Something to do with your love or relationships or a relationship between two people that you really care about. Maybe that's why you haven't announced it because you were worried it would break it apart. It could be something as simple as that, that you were holding on to something and you didn't want to share it because you were afraid it would ruin it. You saw, oh, it's just going to destroy things. But not anymore. This time around, you're saying, hey, I'm just going to shout it from the mountaintops. I'm in love. Or I'm happy. Or I found someone. And I'm going to take a leap of faith in this. I'm not going to be scared of it this time around. I'm not going to be scared of it this time around. I'm going to leave my trauma behind me. Let's go on to the extended because... We got to get deeper. I will see you guys there.